What is a site engineer? Where do site engineers work at? How often do they stay in the field? How often do they come to the office? Where are site engineers and what are their roles and responsibilities? We're going to talk about that in this video. Site engineers are usually the engineers on a construction site. They actually work on the construction site. All the technical aspects of that construction goes through the site engineer. The site engineer has many roles and many responsibilities. So let's talk about some of the different roles and some of those responsibilities that a site engineer would have on your construction project. Site engineers can actually manage certain parts of the construction project, especially the technical parts that uh, are a little bit, little bit outside the range of the site manager. So the site engineer would get involved with a very specific part of that project that's very, very technical. So the site engineer solves problems on the construction site. He may even manage certain portions of the construction project to make sure that it's built technically correct. Now, why is there a site engineer managing certain parts of the project? Why isn't the site manager doing that? Well, sometimes the site managers may not have the experience and background or the technical knowledge in order to manage certain portions of the project. So he turns that over to his site engineer the, to watch over, let's say, uh, how a certain uh, pipe is welded together, make sure that it's welded properly or maybe how a, a steel member is connected to uh, another steel member, making sure that the uh, rivets that are used are correctly in place. Uh, different technical issues like that, whereas the manager may not have the technical background to actually verify, or may not have the time necessary to uh, oversee that those uh, technical things are taken care of properly. Sometimes the site engineers actually will oversee the entire construction project, especially if it's a project that is smaller and, and your project manager can be used on another different type of project. So they will use the site engineer to oversee a smaller project from start to finish. The site engineer can also be involved in uh, overseeing the surveying that's done on the site, making sure that uh, they're surveying correctly, that they're putting down the points correctly, the stakes are going in the right place, and what's being labeled on the stakes is done to where the construction crews can read those stakes and understand whether they're doing cuts or fills or whether the points are offset 10 feet, 5 feet from the stake. So those are very important things that the site engineer will relay to the construction team from the surveying crews. Another very important part of the site engineer is actually setting out where the uh, different components, uh, the construction components of the project may be stored at on site and not interrupt the actual construction as it goes vertical. Some things like uh, maybe storing the, um, the panels that are going to be used on the side of the building, maybe the roofing material, maybe the uh, cement, concrete, uh, mortar, whatever is being used on site to build the project, you must have a place to store it until it's needed. And so the site engineer will probably get involved with that to make sure that it's in the correct location and out of the way and safety is always being con being watched by a site engineer. Another another important task of the site engineer is to review the uh, design plans. Since most site engineers are probably civil engineer in background, the plans that they're looking at are also probably done by civil engineers, especially the, uh, the ground, the pipes that lead up to the building, the roads that go into the site. Whereas in the building itself, you may have other types of engineers like mechanical engineers, plumbing engineers, electrical engineers that all provide plans that the site engineer can read, make sure he understands exactly uh, what's needed uh, to be built, and then to verify that the construction crews are building it according to plan. Again, that's a very big role of a site engineer. Since a lot of construction sites have multiple, multiple sub-consultants working or subcontractors working on the site, the site engineer will be the one who will coordinate with those various groups of uh, subcontractors, making sure they're scheduled to come onto the site at the right time, uh, that they're not on the site, uh, 
and in the way of other uh, contractors that are on the site building or whatever they may be doing. So there's no conflict. And again, it's for a safety reason, making sure that everyone is in the right place at the right time. Now, just like the site manager, the site engineer is also involved with the budgets and the time scales. You want to make sure that the project is being built on budget and on time. And if anything falls behind or starts to go over budget, to make corrections and get it back in line uh, with the schedules and with the budgets. The site manager is also doing this. So obviously there's a lot of communication going on between the site engineer and the site manager, making sure that the budget and the timelines are all being met. Again, the site engineer is also a liaison between the client, the contractors that are working on the site, the various professionals that uh, are providing plans and uh, expertise. Then also the, he's with the manager, the site manager. So he's working with all the different groups. He's kind of in between everybody and he's coordinating, making sure the information is passing through to everyone and that the right people have the right information at the right time so they can build this project and get it completed again on time and on budget. Now, sometimes uh, on the site, uh, various uh, issues will arise. Now, normally, uh, if there's a question to the plans, there's what we call an RFI sent out to the design professional to answer exactly what he intended for that particular design. The site engineer is the one who's going to be the one that's going to look at the plans, interpret what it says. He may, If he's not clear on what it says, then he's going to write the RFI and have it sent out to that professional engineer or designer or whomever did the, the plans and to get an answer to his question. Once he has the answer, then he passes it back on to the appropriate people. And so then the project is continues to go forward. Now, just like any other project, the site engineer has paperwork to do. So this paperwork is actually a daily progress report that they normally will fill out saying what has been completed today and then what's being prepared for the next day. Each day, this is going into their folders and showing the progress of the, of the project. Later, when these contractors come in with their invoices and they say they've completed 20% of their work or 30% or whatever the number is, he can go into his books, his notes, and verify that they're actually that far along along the schedule and that, that he can then authorize the payment of those invoices. If he doesn't think that they're that far along, then he can make adjustments to those invoices and says, no, you're not. 30%, you're only at 20%, so therefore we'll pay you the 20% now. Once you reach the 30%, then we'll pay the additional amount. So that's what the site engineer does. He's going to keep track of how far he's going along and his project schedule. The site engineer will also be involved with the ordering of various construction materials and quantities of those materials. He's going to check on his plans, say, okay, I'm going to need so much steel, I'm going to need so much lumber. I'm going to need so much uh, concrete, all these different quantities that he needs, maybe asphalt, whatever the quantity is. And then he then passes that on over to contracting where they then will then order it and get it onto the site at the time that he needs it. So that's another responsibility of the site engineer. I know you've gotten value out of this video, so please go down right down below there and go ahead and hit subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure you go a little bit further over there and hit that bell so you'll be notified every time we bring up a new video. Also, we'd like for you to hit that like button to let us know that you like what we've been producing in our videos and you want to see more of them. The site engineer is also responsible for the health and safety of everyone on the job site. So he's always going to be uh, watching out to make sure people are wearing their vests, uh, their safety equipment, their harnesses, uh, their safety helmets, uh, work gloves, whatever uh, that's needed to, to on the job site that OSHA may require to here in the United States. Uh, he's also going to be watching out for the safety, making sure that people are not doing kind of foolish things, uh, maybe uh, getting backhoes too close to trenches, or maybe uh, having people in trenches and not having the proper warnings to make sure that they don't lower a bucket from the backhoe into a trench when there's people in there. Uh, there's a lot of safety issues that the site engineer will be watching for throughout the day. So he's busy 
all day long on a construction site. Always watching, always verifying that the work is moving forward and how far they've moved so far. He's verifying that they're on schedule, on budget. Everything is being checked by that site engineer and signing it off in his long book. This information is then passed forward to the site manager where he is also verifying the same information. So the two of them are agreeing that the project is progressing as it should be. So site engineers, you're very, very important on a construction job site. And there should be more of you and more construction sites should be using site engineers. Site engineers are not like project engineers in an office or, or or wherever. They are specifically to a construction site. And they usually work only on one construction project at a time. Not multiple because they have to be on that site at all times. Otherwise... How they know what's going on and how do they watch for the safety and health of everybody on that construction site. Please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Also, we'd like to see for you to see the next couple of videos that we have that's specifically on engineering, the project engineering, site engineering, project management, the management of engineering, the business of engineering. So until the next time, keep on growing your engineering skills, keep on growing your management skills, and we'll see you on the next video.